Well, what's going on guys? This is Stormer 1092 here and we are going to be bringing you a video comparing third person shooters to first person shooters. All right, let's get started. All right, let's take a look at this first picture. Now, some people may say, oh, well that guy's right in the middle. But look at the two guys on the left and the two guys on the right and how they're using angles to cover their bodies. Now this is important in a shooter because you want to be able to see the angle that you're looking at and you want to be able to line yourself up which is easier in a third person shooter than it is in first person shooter. And why is that? Well look at this picture. Now in this picture if you look the guy is taking up half the screen and in a third person shooter you would actually be able to see around him like you would in real life. And also if you look up in the top left of the minimap there is a passageway to the right. I know this from playing this map actually on Call of Duty 4. There's the barn to the right and there's a passageway coming down into this creek bed. Now, if you look at the map, you should be able to see at least half of that. Now, in this field of vision he's got here, he cannot see people coming down that path. Now this is another good example why a first person shooter is not realistic like everyone else says. Now this guy is coming up to this corner and in real life what you do is you come around the corner probably with your gun and your eyeballs out of the corner and that's it. But in first person shooters you gotta at least expose half your body just to see around the corner. Now look at this picture also. This is a good example of what you would actually somewhat do in real life and these two guys on the left here one by the garbage can and one by the boxes. The only thing exposed is their right shoulder, maybe, and their gun and their head. Another great example of the limited field of view with first person shooters is, look at this image right here. Right in front, there he's shooting at a guy, and right by that wall, there's two more enemies according to the minimap. Now, can he see them? No, because he's limited to that first person view, which limits your field of view and your peripherals so he cannot see them. Also what these first person games cause with the limited field of view is a very linear storyline. Now this linear storyline, if you take a look at this photo, you can't go left, you can't go right, you can only go straight. You can't go up, you can't go down, you can't do anything because the only way you can see is straight. Now if you look at the SOCOM 4 clip here, this is going up a ramp of some sort, obviously for cars and he's coming up to this taxi cab. Now, with first person shooter, he'd be looking straight at this taxi cab and he wouldn't be able to see all the truck and behind the truck up there. And right where he says eliminate hostiles, he wouldn't be able to see any of that. Now, since this is a third person shooter, he has that extra field of view, vertically and horizontally. He doesn't, he's not really using the horizontal right now, but he's using that vertical to check up around that truck where people love to camp. Alright, now let's take a look at this video clip here where we are rushing Red Room on Crossroads. Now this corner right here, I can see around the left side and I can also see around the ref right side because I have that extra peripherals. Now just watch this unfold. I seen him coming and got the win. Now with the first person shooter, you wouldn't have seen him come around that corner and you probably would have never won that gunfight. Alright, let's look on how to go around a corner in first person shooter. See how I have to go get this guy and look how exposed I am. That whole corner, my half of my body, three quarters of my body is out there. But these are just my opinions on what I think about the first person versus third person genre and there's more realism in both, there is realism in both, but I think the field of view in the third person shooters are more realistic. Now let me know what you think in the comments below and we will see you next time. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, I got many more to come, and if you want to hit that big subscribe button yet, if you're new to the channel, and to the left we have Battlefield 3 Co-op, and to the right we have my latest SOCOM 3 Let's Play video.